Welcome to Soccer Perspective. In this video, we'll take a look at the key tactics in the 2023 Europa League final between Sevilla and Roma and how it played out. So first, let's look at how Mourinho tweaked the system and how it helped his team to score the first goal. So Mourinho lined up Roma in a 3-4-1-2 system, implementing a 3-4-1-2 high block against Sevilla's 4-2-3-1 build-up shape. The system meant during Sevilla's build-up, Roma created a 2v2 against their centre-back and in attacking transitions, they were able to use that and it was the tactic that led to their first goal. When Sevilla were able to get past Roma's 3-4-1-2 high block and press, Roma sat back and defended in a 5-3-2 compact shape. Now, looking at Sevilla, the system was their usual 4-2-3-1 and their key tactic was their front four and attacking dynamic, which was also their key tactics in their win against Juventus in the semi-final. Sevilla's attacking dynamics involved a central attacking midfielder to drift to the right side to link up play, Ocampos from right wing position to come inside the box to provide additional aerial threat, and their left winger is given the freedom to roam to the other side when the play is in the right side and support the attack. In the build-up to their goal, Suso, the central attacking midfielder, drifted to the right side to receive a long ball. Left finger Lamela came towards the right side to support the attack and right finger Ocampos' presence in the box along with the striker El Nazari helped them to force the own goal. When Sevilla won the penalty in the 74th minute, which was later overturned by VAR, they did it through a similar attacking dynamic with Suso, Ocampos and Lamela coming close together in the inside right channel to combine. Hopefully this video gave you some insights from the Europa League final. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to Soccer Spectre.